Atlanta. Oh, I messed something up. It's a little problem we came across. Scratching our heads while we're building our mount for our passenger seat. These two tracks are not the same lengths. Running into a bit of an issue, these different dimensions. And tonight we are making the post that's going to be the center of our swivel plate that we're making for our passenger seat. We're learning that even the smallest bit of circumference change is definitely going to affect the post and how it sits in the passenger seat and the frame and the swivel ability. It's working really hard over here, learning a new tool today. Oh, hardly working. <laughs> That's beautiful. Being in a short bus, it's, you know space is super essential. So we are trying to make it as versatile as possible. It's going to fold forward and it's going to swivel. Barely any movement. Mm -hmm. But we need that movement so that way they can freely move. Eventually there's going to be a pin in place once we punch out a hole. Yeah, we'll pin it through the side so that way this can't pivot at all or come out. It doesn't come out. <laughs> We're off to a good start. <laughs> All right, so I think I figured out the pin mechanism that we're gonna use, or at least model it off of. It's basically gonna be kind of like those little tractor supply trailers. They have the oh, the gate that comes up, and then two pins that have are on springs. You turn them to unlatch them, and they lock in with the springs. And then you pull back, turn it, and it locks in with like little pins. So I'm gonna try to mimic that with the uh, the post on the seat. The way I did it is I bent up this piece of here, 16 gauge, the hole. You'll have the springs in here. Then that'll fit over there. And you'll have this pin here that I'll weld on instead of this washer. Open up your eyes, my life. All right, so we have our pin set up all tacked up. Basically, you just pull this pin, turn it, the little pin goes into the notch, it releases the, uh, the top side of the post, which the seat will be attached to. You can spin it. You can spin this chair all the way around 360 degrees. You can take it out completely. And then when you want to drive, you put the seat facing forward. Lock it in place. All there is left to do is to finish weld it up. All right, so we got our bottom plate, which is just a 10 by 15 through 16 plate. And we have our bottom plate for the seat. It's be our top plate. It's an 18 by 18, I believe. 5 8 holes to 10 16 hardware. Well, the pin mechanism and the post to this base. And then the regular post to the seat base. Tack it together, see if it works. not crazy about how much slop is in the post. I knew that what little slop was in there would, uh, would be exaggerated with the seat actually bolted to it. All right, time to finish weld it. I'm out with this bus is if we don't like it, we could change it. So, see what happens. version of a lazy boy. Oh, lazy boy with a seatbelt. <laughs> I know we've been keeping you guys updated on the process of building this place, but oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we still don't have a floor and things are kind of dangerous, but that's okay. So we obviously spent a lot of time on where we're going to mount our passenger seat because that was a concern in terms of the stairs. We decided to put the chair here because one, when you're sitting in it, it 
it's still far enough over to the passenger side that you can put your legs comfortably in it. Right, it can swivel, obviously, but oh, <laughs> it's not bolted down. Yet. Not yet. When we're driving, it doesn't really matter too too much if that the walkway is blocked, but we're gonna, probably gonna have like a corner, uh, an angled corner type cabinet deal going on. Hence the cardboard. Yeah. But when we're not driving, close around. You're parked. And you want to be able to sit in it. It's still there's still plenty of room to get through. It's a little tight, but we're willing to sacrifice that little bit of uh, walking room for a passenger seat, permanent passenger seat. Also, the seat comes up, so that way if we work on the bus, get the doghouse out, the seat will be out of the way. Um, or if we're parking for an extended period of time, store it somewhere else and have all that walkway. Um, sit out, yeah. feet up, on nothing but the air, and dry your coffee. We're going to commit to this spot right here, and drill some holes. Let's do it. This plate has... A little bit of flex with it between the uh, this post and the plate itself. We're gonna add probably like three or four gussets probably on each to each corner to help so that way this has no flex. We only have about a quarter inch showing once this is inside the other post. We can't do a regular triangle gusset to go from the tip here to the corners. We're just gonna run flat uh, flat pieces of stock um, to each corner. Take away some of the twist in this plate because this plate probably has more twist than the other plate because it's bigger. There's more surface area, um, so it's more leverage. Next up, some gussets. Once we put some gussets on, we'll clean it up, paint it, and permanently install. Mark says I get to weld something. So we got all the pieces, and by all I mean just two. Together. We got them all painted. Lauren did an awesome job welding these gussets on. Welds look great. All of them do. We're going to bolt that to the chair, that one to the floor, and then we're going to see how stiff it is and give you guys a preview of what the finished product is. These are our bolts, nuts, and washers for the plate. $30 worth of bolts. <laughs> right we there. ended up getting stainless bolts and we're like, yeah, I mean, it'll be a little bit more than, than like regular and it'd be worth it because like they won't rust, you know? We get to the counter, $35 later for eight bolts and a couple washers and we're like, oh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> now my wallet. Worth it. <laughs> Our wallets are <laughs> rusting instead now. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you guys call wrist twitching? In the kitchen. Jay, where you at? <laughs> He'll watch this video. <laughs> He'll comment. <laughs> Look how much tighter that is. So that is our passenger seat. It's removable. It rotates 360 degrees. It's cool. It's homemade and it's freaking cool. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Turning water into wine. But that was way before your time. Reminiscent of your crime. Disciples.